Aries, Aries, what is going on, you guys? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Yes, indeed, I am back at it once again to let you know what is popping for mid April 2019. Yes, indeed, the 15th through the 30th. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Um, make sure you hit that like button if this video resonates with you. Um, thank you so much for all my new subscribers for showing love and light and um, positive energy and you know support to my page. Thank you so much. Listen you guys y'all like my little Batman sitting up here. Oh my god this is my son little. I don't know where he got this little thing from. What is this? What, what does this even do? What is this? This is my little Batman fat man. Y'all like him? Look look. Look, this Aries, this Aries for real. And tell me this is not Aries. Listen, Batman, Fat Man. Okay, looking like he coming to to shut down the place. Listen, Batman, Fat Man, gonna listen. He gonna listen in on this reading because I feel like Batman, Fat Man is an Aries. You know what I'm saying? So Batman, Fat Man, he gonna be right here. And he gonna be chilling with us. You know, cause look at him looking all mean over there. Ain't that y'all? <laughs> Batman, Fat Man, chill out, okay? We gonna get, we gonna, fat, we gonna find out what's going on, okay? Batman, Fat Man. Okay, anyway. So, if anyone wants to book a personal reading with me and Batman, Fat Man, okay? You can, um, <laughs> click that about tab. <laughs> you can click the about tab, okay? My booking link is right there. It says Scorpion Reds at, um, Simply Book Me, okay? Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. After you book with my booking page make sure that you click that secondary link from my instagram that is right below there okay so that we can connect for the video chat for the reading i only do video reading so if you don't have an instagram there's also the option to connect with me on google hangouts my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com again that's scorpionreds at gmail.com if your um preferred video um, platform is Google Hangouts okay if this video resonates and you want to send some love um, as you can see this tower has grown and I have three more decks that are coming in by the lovely Miss Mystic Moon she is a reader also on um, YouTube so make sure you guys go and check her out because I will be using about two or three of her decks today and um, yeah so you will be seeing her decks a lot in rotation because I have purchased three of her newest decks thanks to the love and support that you guys have been sending. So if these videos resonate and you want to send a you know love offering, you can do so. The PayPal information is also in the about tab or you can find it in the description. All right, Aries, let's get into the energy for the 15th through the 30th of April. Okay, again, thank you so much for. Showing love and light. Let's tap into this energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us all here today collectively. Thank you so much. I feel like we are in very good spirits today, Father God. Um, it's springtime. You know, we are springing forward, Father God. A lot of things are just, you know, we're just blissfully blooming, you know, if that makes sense. We're blissfully blooming. I feel like there's a lot of stuff kind of lurking around, going down. But in a lot of ways, you know, we have changed in a, a lot of ways, all right? So, Father God, thank you so much for just all the positive steps that we've made forward, you know, because the only thing we can do, Aries, is just take one step at a time. Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody about to change overnight. So, listen. So, if anybody talking about, oh, Aries, I thought you changed. Why you just cut somebody out? Because they shouldn't have been talking stupid. Be, you know, like, just because I said I would, I changed don't mean I still won't check y'all. Like, what's that supposed to mean? So, like, you know, but still at the same time, certain things we just don't need to give our energy to. And then that we are trying to grow and progress so father god please give us guidance please give us progressive steps thank you so much for all of the lessons and all of the glory and just the prosperity and abundance that we've been living in because i tell you father god we are so thankful thank i i i serious serious we are thankful and we are just humble and grateful and and and, and just blessed that you never give up on us and that you love us as much as you do and you always just keep pushing us forward by making stuff hard for us unfortunately but we ain't got no choice but to make a change you know what i'm saying and because and and listen we hard-headed and that's what we need sometimes 
So, Father God, thank you, you know, for the tough love, even though we don't understand it. And, you know, listen, we don't understand it sometimes, but in the long run, hindsight is twenty twenty, And, you know, we always know that you got our best interest. So, thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Aries for mid-April the 15th through the 31st. Oh, through the 31st. Why do I keep saying the 31st through the 30th? Thank you so much, Father God. <laughs> Child, listen. Give me some guidance. All right, give me some guidance for Aries in April the 15th through the 30th. So this is what um mm, this is what I'm getting right here. So we got in, uh, 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 and this was a lot. And normally I don't even take all of this. I, I'm honestly about to throw all this shit back, but I'm not even gonna do that. It's innocence. Innocence. It says take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. Friendships in reverse. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. I already know what that's about. Uh, partnership. Teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with and build a talented support team. Dance. Move your body to the music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. Listen, this is what I'm about to tell y'all, Aries, because I'm not even about to play with y'all because I just had a moment with one of my Aries <laughs> friends <gasps> over the weekend. And I literally just wanted to strangle him. And it's literally because that's my baby. Like, that, and I would literally kill somebody over that boy. And I was about to. And I was really about to. And it's like, you know, I want y'all to know that, you know, it's okay to kind of have that innocence in your life and kind of live carefree and just enjoy that kind of childhood spirit. And because Aries, especially a lot of Aries men, they really do kind of have like a child, a child, like kind of like energetic kind of, you know, spirit. Bunk and spontaneity with him, and I fucking love that shit. That's why that motherfucker's my best friend. And we can we we love and in that dance right there, like our connection is music. Like we literally, hey, since you listen to this, da 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 da, da like music, dancing, just having a good time. Like we like to get fucked up and have a good ass time and talk shit. We like arguing back and forth with each other. Like that, me and my Aries friend, that's what we do. We like to argue with each other and get fucked up and listen to music and just vibe and shit. But it's not like bad arguments. It's like a battle of the minds type of thing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing who could be quicker with the tongue type of thing like that. And I want to say Aries is, you know, does have a certain level of innocence to them. You know what I'm saying? Because they are very, very good lovering, very good people. Like, they will do anything for you if they feel like there's somebody that they can put on that level. But see, that's the thing with them. They don't know how to, you know, have the right type of people around them. They, they befriend the wrong type of energies. Like, they really have a very toxic group of people around them that don't help them. With their problems that they already got. If that. You you feel me? Okay. Like you know. So at, at, at some point. It's like you innocent. But you're not innocent. Because a lot of the times. A lot of shit that be happening. It's not you. You be innocent. And it, it be your fucking stupid ass friends. But at the same time. But you wrong. Because why are you hanging around these type of people? You know what I'm saying? You need to have positive partnerships around you. Where you can really be free and dance. And you ain't got to worry about. No stupid fuck shit going on in the background or just 
these people and their energy sucking you in into their vibration and then maybe something that you might have long passed kind of you know got a handle on they done triggered you you know what I'm saying because I see the moon right here I see the moon right there the moon on the innocence and the moon on the into um the moon on the innocence and the moon on dance and it's just like I really want to tell y'all like y'all really need to be guided by y'all intuition you know there is a sweet innocence in you but at the same time I don't feel like that y'all really use y'all intuition with dealing with people and y'all befriend the wrong type of people and y'all don't focus on having the right type of partnership in your life because you know when I'm going out dancing and I'm and I'm chilling like that I want to be able to drink and celebrate and vibe and you know I can put my um my guard down and then I know my friends that I'm around got my back and I could get fucked up and act stupid and I'm good you know what I'm saying because I got the right type of people around me I got people that love me I like I got people around me that ain't gonna let me get but so fucking drunk that ain't gonna let me you know what I'm saying so that's really what that's about Go that devil card. Real, I'm not playing no games. All that back and forth. I need your support now. Hey, okay, let me stop. This ain't time to pop puss. This ain't time to pop puss. Look at y'all dance. This ain't time to, to, to pop puss dance. Look at y'all. Got me in here singing lullabies and that. And this, you know, no, don't wait, okay. I don't know what she said right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway, anyway. Okay, listen, bitch. Listen. Listen. Okay? Aries, y'all are very guarded right now. Y'all are very guarded. I feel like you guys have been to defend yourself about something. Y'all having to say, you know what? It's like, you know, and, and you know. And I'm not trying to bring up <laughs> what happened. Oh yeah, I mean because this 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 resonates with what happened over the weekend. And I know he watches my readings, so this is for you, boo. This is for you, like for real. Like you wouldn't have to defend yourself if you really, 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 really. You saying you trying to change, baby? You are so close to it, and you've been doing so good, or at least to what you tell the people that love you. You know what I'm saying? So. We don't know truly what be going on deep in the background until shit pop off, i.e. this past weekend. You see what I'm saying? So, like, motherfucker, like, if you really trying to quit certain toxic habits, if, if you really trying to, like, change your environment and have a more healthy uh, lifestyle, like, you can't be teeter-tottering with this like the, the devil card it don't need to be in the upright or in the reverse it don't need to be nowhere in your energy period you see what i'm saying so for me it's that that that's just letting me know that you're having to defend yourself because people still think that you're walking a tight rope and you're straddling the fence with some of these like toxic things that you've been parlaying within your life have it be sex addiction it could be um alcohol it could be gambling it could be um drug abuse it could be um cheating having affairs it could just be lying um you could be a scammer um to, you know anything anything that is you know eating like you know some people could have an addiction to food or um shopping like you know whatever it is because this could be someone that's guarded because they have a very bad what's that say qvc like they be like mom um mama be ordering shit off of qvc and shit like that and you be like rent uh, late on your rent all the goddamn time you know what i'm saying and you trying to figure out like why mama always late but every time you seeing some shit getting delivered to the house like yeah that's that type of shit and it's like it's really an addiction for her and she's trying to stop that shit but it's just like she can't stop watching that channel and it's like okay motherfucker we gonna have to block this channel 
we gonna have to block this shit because you are super defensive with us because we trying to help you and telling you like listen you need to just block this channel you need to unsubscribe from qvc just don't even look at it and you won't be tempted you just you know what i'm saying like so if you don't if you really don't want people to get on you where you're having to defend yourself where people st um, still think that you're doing these things that you shouldn't be doing, Aries. Stop hanging around with these stupid ass friends of yours. Hang around a better group of people that's trying to promote this change and want to see the better in you. You still, you still right here trying to make a decision because you, you really, it's like you want to leave your old lifestyle, but you be having too much fucking fun. Like, come on, don't even lie. Like, you know when y'all be going out dancing and shit like that, y'all be booting up and shit like that. Papa Molly's doing whatever the fuck y'all be doing. Whatever the fuck y'all be doing, bitch. Okay? Y'all be having a good ass time and shit like that. Like, respect. I Listen, I ain't no one to judge nobody. But I'm just saying, like, um, you know, it's not really helping you doing that every weekend. Um, and... If you're doing it every weekend or whatever the fuck it is, like it's going to build up into a negative addiction. You know, you going to the casino every weekend thinking you going to hit. Use how much money you spending. Like, come on. Like, but it's like you really enjoy doing this stuff. So it's like it's hard to make a decision in regards to like where you should really go and it's this is this is someone just you know at a crossroads and they're teeter-tottering it's like i know this over here is best for me but this over here feels so good type of shit and it's like god standing over top of your head giving you free will to make a decision but i just like i always tell people when god be standing over your head watching you trying to give you a chance to free will make a decision and you be playing around and they got the audacity to be defensive with motherfuckers because, like, they're like, um, why are you hanging around these people? Where your friend, like, where your real, where your real normal people you be hanging around with, with like, where your normal partners at? Like, where, who the fuck are these new friends? What you mean? I been through these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers always in my business thinking they know shit, whatever, whatever, woo, 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 woo. Okay, okay, excuse me, Aries, like, shit. I'm just asking who are these people because, like, I just seen this bitch eyes rolling in the back of her hair. She look like she motherfucking rolling on bitch on some motherfucking acid. That leprechaun is on acid in the voice of Dave Chappelle, okay? And this that you, you hang around, these people ain't going to lead you to no type of victory. You ain't going to get the attention that you want, boo. You ain't about to get the attention that you want. You understand what I'm saying? You're not getting the attention that you want because you mad and you defensive because people is asking you questions about why the fuck you hanging around and you doing the things that you're doing and like why, like, come on now. We trying to, we trying to get you to the point to lead you to success and victory. Like why the fuck is you, come on now. We not doing that. We not going to do that. We, uh-uh. No. No, no Aries, we're not going to do that. No, hold on. Spirit, please um give me additional information for Aries for the um mid month April, cause I want to know more in regards to. I just I just want another message, Spirit. Please give. There was another message before I go into the other day. Justice. Justice. You got to really, um, if you really, really want forgiveness from people and if you really want people to kind of respect you and look at you in a certain way, um, you, you have to balance the heart and the mind, you know, even though I feel like a lot of the people, like, you really love them and you don't want to just, like, cut them off and not hang with them no more. Um, because mentally, you know, it's not good for you. You know, you try to change and things like that. But, you know, you got to find some type of balance here. 
because and and once you get that together like everything's truly going to go into your favor and i feel like honestly the people they'll understand i really do feel like they understand because cosmically like Spirit is trying to help you find some type of balance here. And they're really, really rooting for you. Like, that's honestly what I'm getting. Like, it's, it's, they're trying to help you just get yourself balanced and grounded. And know how beautiful that you are, truly. And that you deserve, you deserve better to be around a better group of people. And, like, you don't. <laughs> You know, you need to do a little bit more and fight against, you need to fight against this and completely get this removed out of your um, energy period. You know, you need to, you need to really fight this off because um, you're a very beautiful person. Y'all are very fun people, very fun people. Y'all like to have a very good time and a lot of people really like hanging around you. But at the same time, it's like when y'all get in y'all shit and y'all wanna y'all wanna be on y'all shit, it's like and then we look around and see the people that be around y'all, we be like, oh okay, I get it. And it's like, is that you or is this the the, the company that you're keeping? You know? So you just need to make sure that you have the right type of people in your life. And that can be just friendships and partnerships and jobs uh your job your career um even your family members that you hang around with shit it could be negative goddamn family members that you hang with all the time that you need to stop hanging with certain cousins and shit like that that you hang with all the goddamn time what is this saying triumph yeah you will triumph like i'm telling you there is like once you get that heart and that mind balance there will be there will be A judgment call in your favor. Patience and planning. And your destiny, yeah. Right now, it's just like you're not able to like you're searching for wisdom. That's honestly what I feel like. I want to say I feel like some areas are lost and it's just like I really don't. I'm here. I really just, I don't know. Like I don't know what y'all want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going, I'm going to be good. Y'all know how Aries is. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be good. Because you know one thing about Aries. I feel like no matter what people are saying about them. No matter how they're having to defend themselves. Against things that are being said. Things that, that are being even done. You know. Um, Aries know that God has a light on them. And. A lot of times, some of the shit that be going on with them be a shit show. And Aries know it. And it's cool because that's how Aries learn. And God wouldn't put them through nothing that they couldn't handle. And every time they come out of these situations, they step out the gate with more wisdom. So, Aries knows that this stage and this, this, this thing that they're going through right now is a lesson and truly what the lesson is, is about you surrounding yourself around positive people. People that are going to influence you to be at your highest of all high. At your best, you know. Because um, like you said, Aries, regardless if you like it, if anyone likes it or not, Aries don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to try on. And y'all can kiss my ass. And that's exactly what Aries just told me to tell you. Y'all can kiss my ass. Like, anybody watching this, that's a crosswalker watcher and, and, and that's looking for Aries to fail. Aries is saying, like, listen, y'all better do some more patient planning because we sure have. Okay? Aries grounded like shit. It's like, yeah, I still be doing dumb ass shit, but y'all can, yeah. Y'all can go somewhere with that dumb ass shit. I'm still good. <laughs> like, y'all know how fucking Aries, goddamn. Y'all know that shit. Fucking arrogant as shit. That's why I love fucking Aries. I hate y'all. Ooh, y'all get on my nerves. Oh my god, my freaking on my nerves too. Oh my god. Ooh, that boy crazy as hell. Listen, <laughs> y'all know y'all destiny is coming. Y'all know everything that's going. Um, it's pushing you towards your destiny, and that's the th and that's why it's just like 
but everyone this and this, this and that and blah, blah, blah. Because you feel like people are against you and you got to defend yourself. What is this? Fertility. Yeah, you trying to grow. That's not pregnancy. That's growing. That's growing. Mm, that's too much. Really? You said you're not suffering in silence. You about to tell motherfuckers the truth. Your heart is balanced. What does it say? You stay. Oh. Well, why are you not? Why are you not standing your ground? Memories of love. You're not able to stand your ground. Oh, because you know I ain't going to be no heart. What? Okay. Okay, I'm reloading. So it's something else. Alright, so this is one message and this is another message. Alright, so like I said, you guys are searching for wisdom. Mm hmm Y'all know y'all gonna be successful and y'all patiently planning on something because y'all know your destiny is coming. You don't know what it is. You might not know how to handle it. But you know what Aries said? If you plan and you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So y'all planning for whatever it is. Because you know God is grounding you to get you ready for whatever is destined for Aries. Um, Aries is growing right now. Not only are they growing. I feel like some Aries men maybe possibly want another baby. Like, I don't know why I feel like that. Um... Maybe it's somebody that y'all y'all met that y'all feel like y'all wouldn't mind um, having a child with. And your friends don't like this person. But you feel like this is a positive partnership. And you want to dance and have a good time. Because there's a certain level of innocence in this relationship with this person. And you feel like with this woman that things can grow. And it, it could possibly go somewhere. But for some reason your friends don't like this person. For some reason, your friends don't like this person. And or, like I said, Aries is just trying to grow. Period. And as you can see, in the center, that's their heart. That's their heart chakra. Their heart is growing. And like I said, um, their heart chakra is right there. Um, they know that their destiny is coming. They're growing. Aries said that they're not going to suffer in silence. They're going to speak out and let it be known exactly what it is that they're thinking and what they're feeling. And... Aries ain't never been one to suffer in silence. Like, they're not going to sit there and just... That's like some cancer shit. You know what I'm saying? Where cancers, they will shell people out. They will, You know what I'm saying? Like, they will go in their shell. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, very silence. They'll wall people out. Aries are not like that. Aries are very vocal about whatever it is that is going on. And they're just like, I'm not going to suffer in silence. Motherfuckers is going to know my truth. People going to know how I feel. My heart is on the table. I'm putting my heart out there. And I know exactly what my heart wants, okay? I didn't stand my ground in this situation, all right? Because honestly, um, I feel like that third eye chakra was off a little bit. They weren't able to see and like thoroughly communicate and speak on certain things you know and they're able to speak and say that now you know what i'm saying because they're not going to suffer in silence about whatever this is they're growing now and they're not suffering in silence and they're going to let someone know the truth and they put their heart out there you know and they didn't stand their ground back then because you know they just felt like on both sides of the table, um, everyone's heart just wasn't balanced and, you know, couldn't couldn't connect and things just wasn't in perfect harmony in that situation. And Aries is not going to um, hold their tongue about it, you know. No, they didn't stand their ground back then, but they're going to do it now. They're not going to suffer in silence. They're growing. And in growing, they're going to tell their truth and they're going to let people know, you know what I'm saying? There might have been a lack of wisdom, but they're patiently planning. And they will be triumphant in love. 
They will be triumphant in life. They will be triumphant in general. Um, they're moving forward towards their destiny. So I definitely feel like maybe Aries may be confronting somebody that they might have held their tongue back up on because they didn't know the true measure of their heart. And that's why you see someone patiently planning, getting their self grounded and things like that. I think someone might be coming and they might, you know, just, just, and, 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 you know, just letting some shit off of, off of their chest. Letting something off of their chest because they weren't able to stand their ground before. Because they weren't able to see a certain situation fully. But now they see the truth and they know their truth. They said, I'm not about to suffer in silence, bitch. You about to know exactly what the fuck I see. Um, to you know, I really don't like where so there should have been love and memories there. Um, it really isn't because there wasn't no harmony and peace in the situation. And I feel like Aries kind of needs to get that shit off their chest with something or somebody. And let's go further. Let's go further. Let's figure out. Give me a rebel call for the situation. you out of harmony with when you just feeling out of harmony and you just your heart together now but whoever the hell you ain't stand your ground with and let them know how you felt back then and you suffered in silence back then you're not doing that no more every time you think back to those loving memories it ain't so loving no more Look, love is in your arena, baby. It says, get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Every y'all need some good sex. I don't even think that it's not that y'all haven't had sex. I don't think y'all have had some good sex. Like, y'all want that fire and desire, honey. Okay? That's what you need. You want to do you. Okay? Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Do you. You want some good love. I feel like Aries about to do them. Okay? What's going on, Aries? <laughs> you about to do you. It said, where the fuck is your sense of humor? Laugh. Okay? Aries might be telling somebody that. Look. Okay? Love. Do you. Where's your sense of humor? Laugh. Okay? You're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming other people for your shit. Okay? It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. <laughs> Bitch, I'm reloading. Aries is telling someone, love, do you. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? You a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming people for your shit. Who you talking to? Uh... <laughs> Alright, so who the fuck is you talking to? Whoever this person that they wasn't grounded with and they couldn't like just tell off and let them know. They're gonna be like, look, love, do you? Cause I'm good, I'm loved, okay? And y'all gonna say, look, you need to get some, you need to get some pussy, you need to get some dick because <laughs> it'll cheer your ass up, okay? You need to tighten the fuck up. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You need to laugh. And this ain't everyone's goddamn fault, bitch. It's yours. Okay? You need to get some. You need you need to get some. Because you too fucking uptight. You need to laugh and, to, and realize that you need to look at the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror. That it ain't everybody else's fault. You need to look at your goddamn self, okay? You a grown-ass motherfucking woman or you a grown-ass man out here in these streets. Stop blaming other motherfuckers for your shit. Do you. <laughs> Go do you. <laughs> Who the fuck is you going off on like that, Aries? Who the fuck? Aries always cussing somebody out. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> hey, Aries, funny as shit. <laughs> Father God, please tell me in this love situation. Please give me some additional communication from Aries because I want to figure out. What is Aries trying to say? Please tell me. 
Who is Aries talking to? What, what, give me some more communication. Give me words from Aries, please. He told somebody, love, do you. Okay? You're grown ass adult. Stop blaming other people for your, for your shit. Where's your sense of humor? Because Aries is an asshole. Like, Aries will sit, they'd be, like, having, like, real sarcastic ass jokes. <laughs> like, they'll carry this shit out of you with, like, real, real sarcastically. It says, I need more time to figure things out. Okay? Honey, do you. Where's your sense of humor about this shit? Didn't you say you wanted to be single? Go do you. I need some more time to figure this shit out any goddamn way. Shit. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Look, didn't I tell your Aries? <laughs> friend after this and be like hey young please tell me you ain't rock on your fucking girl like this what the fuck happened ma what the fuck <laughs> oh no oh. bitch he gonna tell the bitch but you inspired me though you inspired me to get my shit together and get the and and and, and then tell you to go do you love to love myself and tell you to go do you you inspired me okay Cause I, I should have told you this shit a long time ago. Bitch, you inspired me because you're irritated. Don't fuck out of me. Stop blaming motherfuckers for your shit. You grown as shit out here. Okay? Whole grown ass motherfucker out here. Please. Okay, what's this say? I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Look, you inspired me, bitch. I can't ignore these signs no more. Come on. Oh, fucking wildebeest neck ass bitch. I just listen. Listen. Listen me. Listen me. What you will not do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, cuz Aries, y'all so fucking mean. Y'all always be cussing people. Out and I ain't never seen nobody get cussed out like this, and and, and with these cards like this. Who the fuck? Like Aries? No, you know what? I cannot. And then gonna tell the motherfucker where's your sense of humor? Laugh. I should have told you this shit a long time ago. Okay. I need more time to figure this out. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving no more. Okay. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling the first time. Okay. 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 Shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, Father God. Father God, please let me be at peace. Because y'all, listen, y'all not. Uh uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Aries, I'm not dealing with y'all. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. We ain't even had. We only halfway through the reading in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father. Please put some anointment down here on this table because I'm almost scared. Father, why not? <laughs> who I'm scared? Lord, please. Because I don't want to hurt no. Who cross watches? This ain't me doing this. This Aries. I, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Okay? Whatever the, the Six of Swords. Get yeah. They said I'm going to listen. I'm going back. I'm going back the way I used to be, bitch. Okay, y'all motherfuckers is give a fuck. I'm going listen, Aries is going back to the way that they used to be. They done made their mind up. They're going back to the way that they used to be and shit like that. Cause they, they not, they not emotionally fulfilled. They not emotionally fulfilled with this new way that they was trying to change and shit like that. I feel like it wasn't fun. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling to them. It was boring. You know. Ten of Swords. I just found out here. The Eight of Cups. Wait, one one minute you want to go back? One minute because you're not fulfilled? Then you want to leave because you feel backstabbing and betrayed? See this? Y'all need to stay off these drugs, y'all. Y'all know what the fuck y'all feeling. What the fuck wrong with y'all? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Okay, so I'm going to read it this way. Man, who the fuck is going to... Come on now. Come on now. Mm 
That's what we're not doing. Got hung right the fuck up on too. So what we used to listen? Let me, cause listen, cause listen. Well, I'ma say this, okay? I'ma say, <clears throat> I'ma say that Aries goes back and forth with wanting to go back to the way things used to be in their old mindset and their old train of thought and their own way of thinking because they're really not emotionally fulfilled you know what I'm saying sober having to pour these cups out trying to change you know what I'm saying I really do feel like it has something to do with being sober you know but they know they gotta walk away from these cups because every time that they every time that they indulge in this shit it leaves them in a place where they're just like stabbing their own self in the back you know and I feel like they feel like there's people waiting for them Aries feels like it's people waiting for them to fail the four wands the star and the nine of coins okay well No. Like I said, thinking of going back to the old way of thinking and the way of doing things because they they they're not having fun. They're not fulfilled. Okay, and I feel like a lot of Aries have been maybe in sober housing or something like that, or been doing sober living or like a clean lifestyle, like maybe even a vegan lifestyle, like a lot of y'all, um, I feel like some of y'all might have health problems, um, and y'all might have had to change y'all diets and just, like, really change y'all lifestyle all, all together, but a lot of it has to do with drinking, you know, you've been wanting to go back to this shit because you know it's more emotionally fulfilling for you, but you know you gotta walk away from them cups. Whatever it is that you're indulging in, it could be cups, it could be drugs, it could be food, it could be whatever the addiction is, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you feel bound to that is so hard to walk away from, you know, um, it's like you know you got to walk away from this shit because every time you indulge in this shit and you play around with this shit, something bad happens. And it's like you, 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 you stabbing yourself in, in your own back. It's not nobody else doing it. It's you doing it. And in your mind, you know it's you doing it. You, you feel what I'm saying? And <clears throat> truly, you just want to be... And this is like two bitches looking like they about to get married or some shit like that. Okay, y'all better go ahead and be non-traditional. Look, you just listen. You want to be victorious and, you know, celebrate it in your non-traditional way. You know? <laughs> It's like, you know that you don't need to do this, and you know you need to walk away, but it's like, why I can't just kind of do my little raunchy thing that I normally be doing and just be able to be good with that, and just everybody can just be happy for me, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why I can't skip down the motherfucking Mulberry Bush, or how the fuck you want to skip down the... Why I can't skip down to the Mulberry Bush and give me some mulberries and make me a mulberry pie? Do bitches make mulberry pies? See, that don't sound like some shit motherfuckers normally do. That's exactly what Aries saying. I don't want to do what everybody normally do, bitch. Okay? Why I can't just do that and, then, and be celebrated and y'all just be happy for a motherfucker? Fuck y'all. Shit. Okay? Being back and forth, back and forth about what the fuck I want to do. Shit, this my pussy. It's like, don't... <laughs> Listen, I'm my own star player, god damn it. Okay? Aries is saying, I know exactly who the fuck I am. I'm the star. I know who I'm all. I know who I'm in. I know what my problem is. I'm going to God about it. Okay? I got faith that I'm going to change. Bitch, you need faith that I'm going to change. Look, what you just need to do, motherfucker, is however I'm rocking right now, bitch, you just need to be rocking however the fuck I'm rocking. And, and just, just know I'm the one. Okay? Just know I'm the one out here in these streets. And I'm going to be back and forth by my shit, but bitch, okay? As long as I don't do nothing real stupid, bitch, fuck all that dumb ass shit. Y'all just motherfucking rock with me and shit. I ain't got no time for this shit because y'all driving me motherfucking crazy, okay? And I feel like y'all bitches is taking advantage of my niceness out here. Because I be doing a lot for y'all motherfuckers. And y'all be too busy talking about, oh, because I want to do some old original digital 
Because I want to do the original digital. I want to be original. I want to do my own different thing. What? Because I'm having a good ass time. Enjoying my motherfucking self. Okay? Celebrating. Rejoicing. Reuniting with people. Doing my thing. You don't want me reuniting with my good old friend? Fuck y'all. Shit. Why I can't shit? I know what the fuck I'm doing. I know who I am. Shit. Y'all don't be worrying about me going back to some shit that ain't good for me. Don't worry about me doing that shit. I know what the fuck. I know. I know every time I indulge in that shit that this shit is fucked up for me. I know how to walk away from the fucking cup. Leave me the fuck alone. Shit. Bitch, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Shit, I should have told you that shit a long time ago. Bitch, and you're irritating. Do you, love? I don't got time for you. Shit. You irritating. You irritating the shit. Okay? Fuck. You worried about me, bitch? You a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming motherfuckers for your own shit. You trying to blame me for your unhappy talk about, oh, because you drink, oh, because you go out and party. Bitch, I'm enjoying myself, bitch. Why don't you go out and do you, bitch? Where the fuck is your sense of humor? You go out and laugh and enjoy your motherfucking self, bitch. Stop worrying about what the fuck Aries doing. Shit. Fuck wrong with you. All right? Bitch, you over here taking advantage of me. Fuck you talk about. You taking advantage of my goddamn kindness. Bitch, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> See, look at your... I told y'all, listen, 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 listen to me. Y'all will not be having me doing this today, Aries. Y'all will not do this. Y'all will not. Y'all give me some guidance for Aries in love. But Aries, listen, I just, I won't. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to keep doing this with y'all. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all want some Thelma and Louise shit. You and your best friend out here. You know, reunited with your best friend, Okay. Reunited and it feels so good. Y'all turn the fucking streets up. And everybody like, uh uh uh, cause back in the day when y'all used to hang with each other, bitch. Mm, we knew what y'all did that summer and bitch. We rebels. Get a shovel. <laughs> but put fuck niggas in the ditch. <laughs> did y'all go and hurt somebody? What y'all what y'all bitches did last summer? Why I just say something about shoveling in the ditch and shit? What y'all was y'all really on some Thelma? And Louise, shit, y'all bitches scared me. What y'all bitch? See, you know what, Aries? Don't make me pull out another deck and figure out what the fuck y'all was doing with this four wands. Y'all burning roses and shit. What's going on with y'all girls? Y'all some dangerous bitches. What y'all was doing? Fuck. And hey, y'all look high as fuck, too. Oh, man. Like they just came from Coachella or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they the most <laughs> brother brother Earth. <laughs> <coughs> ain't Coachella going on right now what y'all doing up oh, up at the Coachellas did y'all just uh, <laughs> reunite with some of y'all old friends up at the Coachellas and y'all family and shit all up in y'all business talking about now I know what you and that bitch was doing last like time y'all went up Coachellas and bitch okay Oh, the Divine Masculine. Aries ain't thinking about no damn Divine Masculine either. Shit. And if, the, and if it's an Aries man, he ain't thinking about being nobody goddamn Divine Masculine. Shit. Recogniz recognition. What the fuck is going on? Oh, third party. Destruction. Huh? 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 What's going on? What the Divine Masculine then did? It's a divine masculine recognizing Aries and got rid of the third and don't want to be in the third party no more and destroy. Oh, oh, you're being admired, and they trying to separate for somebody. For oh, <laughs> well, looky, 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 who getting a new cookie? Aries. Is you putting the fire crotch? Listen, I don't know. I've been saying fire crotch all day. Listen. 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 Thelma and Louise gave them something to believe. What you, listen, did your divine masculine send you out there popping puss in the video on fucking Instagram over at the Coachella's over this weekend, girl? What you were doing? What you was doing with your friends? You was out there popping pussy, popping pussy, pop the pussy, pop that pussy, pop the pussy, pop that pussy, pop the pussy. Go ahead, baby, pop the pussy. You was popping the pussy. 
And it's divine masculine that you don't give a fuck about is recognizing you now because you was all up in Coachella's because you done reunited with your motherfucking best friend from high school and it feels so good and y'all bitches done pop, y'all done booted the fuck. <laughs> for God, this energy that I'm getting is somebody done reunited with like some friends that they used to get in trouble with a whole lot, young. Yeah? And they and someone has seen some pictures that they done seen something, and then uh, uh, these two motherfuckers out celebrating like they partying or something. And they like, bitch, y'all look high as shit. Why you got your glasses on? Why your eyes look like that, bitch? Cause I'm rolling. <laughs> is, is you rolling? Bitch, I might be. Bitch, I might be. Bitch, I might be. Is you rolling? Bitch, I might be. Gucci, okay? Gucci. <laughs> I say, bitch, I know what I'm doing. Mind you. <laughs> Oh, Aries is like, bitch, last time you was with me, I wasn't not paying for your shit. Didn't I just pay for your life bill and shit to get cut on, bitch, mind your business. Like, you, like, like, every time you be calling me, you be asking me for money and shit, bitch. Don't be worrying about if I'm a fucking, mind your business. It's fucking Coachella, bitch. What is you supposed to do at Co Coachella, bitch? You don't watch fucking, um, Insecure when them bitches booting up at fucking Coachella? <laughs> Why y'all so bad? And y'all stealing some money, man. Aries. Aries, who y'all stealing? Do y'all listen? Y'all old fuck ass divine masculine that y'all ain't been thinking about. He seen y'all popping puss over at the Coachellas. And now he recognizing you, girl. He recognizing you because he seen you and your friend. And he said, hold on. Don't nobody listen. Don't nobody say that now another the way Aries said that now another. I seen the way Aries was popping puss over at the Coachellas. Looking like she had her skates on, rolling boots. What? Mm mm. Let me tear this down. Cause I ain't taste that good. Aries in a minute. Mm mm mm. Tastes like cinnamon. Mm. Tastes like a cinnamon bun. Tastes like, oh. Tastes like a churro. Cinnamon churro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cinnamony sweet, okay? Oh, I mind the way she da. Bala! 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 I like the way she dance on the dick. I like the way she dance on the dick. Ooh! Bala! Bala! Oh! I like it like that. I like it like that. Okay! I guess so! He guess so! Hey, yeah, 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 baby! Bitch, Bala on the dick. Bala on the dick. Bala, did you twist and twirl? Did you twist and twirl on the dick back in the day? Did you show him how light you are on your feet? Did you do the monkey on the dick on your feet? Oh, oh, fire and desire. Oh, Milly, 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 Milly was dancing on the dick. And he said, Oh, I can't separate quick enough. I need some Milly, Milly. Oh, somebody been giving them some international puss. Who who in here with the international puss? Who who Belasia? Who were giving them the <laughs> Who got the Belasia persuasion, okay? Yeah, what the <sighs> yeah, what you mean ass? And, and, and you don't give a fuck. You don't get you like fuck this nigga. What you mean ass? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 Let me clarify this and get the hell out of here. Cause I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. Oh, no. No, yeah, let's clarify this. And then I gotta get the hell out of here because y'all disrespectful. Y'all <laughs> disrespectful. Y'all ain't even know that y'all done took this this man from this woman or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is clever. Okay. You don't even know. That this person is admiring you and is recognizing you now and is ready to throw away a third party situation. They ready to destroy this shit because they admiring you and they can't get away from this. They can't separate fast enough. I don't even think you knew that you did it. I don't even think that you knew that you had them hung up like that. Look, look at him sniffing at your booty. You over there in the pond looking like a swan. He looking real fond. He looking real fond on your booty. He said it smelled like cinnamon and peaches and shit. Bitch, why are you over there smelling like a whole goddamn peach cobbler? Peachy booty? 
Okay, booty looking like a peach thighs all extra thick and juicy. Girl, okay. What the fuck did y'all do? What the fuck did y'all do? What did y'all do, Er? Aries. Aries. Yeah, y'all got somebody looking back from the past. Y'all got somebody staring in that mirror, not feeling inferior. They staring in that mirror, not looking in furrow. They about to reach out and touch you, honey. They say, honey, not looking like, not looking like you got, uh, what, uh, what? Pineapple strudel booty, what? He is trying to eat the plate, honey. He is trying to put his face in that plate. Honey, he, he, that, he don't look like he trying to put his head all up in that salad. And go ham and cheese, honey. Girl, I don't know. Listen, I'm about to go. I'm about to go because I don't even want to know no more. I don't want to know no more. And y'all cussing somebody out. Y'all cussing somebody out. Okay? Because people in y'all fucking business. Okay? Because y'all all having fun. And then you're going to be enticing people, reeling people in, and you don't even fucking know it. You all innocent out here, just pop and puss. Bala on the dick, just monkey on the dick, Mon monkey on the dick. You was just out here innocent, just dancing. Okay? Hanging with your friends that you know you ain't got no business being with. Because these motherfuckers got you out here booting up, doing drugs, being in your bestest. But you having a good ass time, Aries. Don't tell me you ain't you want to have no good ass time. Because <laughs> that's your partner. Like, y'all be having to like, look, your, your, your family don't like this motherfucker, but that's your partner in crime and shit. When you be liking to go out and dance, okay? When you want to go out and dance and have a good ass time, this the bitch you call, okay? This the nigga you call, okay? Shit. Shit, me. Okay? Five of swords. Oh, oh. <laughs> Five of swords. Look, y'all, listen. Listen. This man or this woman, whoever, they finna do whatever the fuck they need to do to get them panties, them, them, them cheeks off. They going, they finna tell you anything. They done seen you. They done seen you dancing. Somebody done seen you out dancing, living in your best element. And you done really entice them. And they won't get you about your panties. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got them feeling real randy. Okay? So, listen. I don't know who the hell, I don't know what you done did. But they listen. Papa, Papa said he, he need to put his sword down, okay? Because he need to get his thoughts together because he about to figure out whatever and figure out what he got to say to get to you to get you about them goddamn. He want to see that. He said he want to see that peach. Okay? He want to see them peaches and the sheets. He want to see them peaches and them sheets. Mm -mm. I ain't even, listen, I don't want to no more. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm leaving because I wasn't invited to this party. And I don't want to be with y'all no more. I don't, want, I don't want nothing to do with this no more. I don't want to know no more about y'all illegal drug activities, bitch. I don't want to know, want to know nothing, nothing about y'all stealing nobody, man. Okay? I don't want to know nothing about none of this fucked up shit that's going on in fucking Aries' life, okay? Okay, bitch, I thought y'all was trying to change, okay? It's like, let me shut up for y'all cussing. <laughs> no, because legitimately... Aries really ain't even doing shit for real, but just enjoying herself. And it's like everybody is like big ass fucking big pussy ass man. And like here come this divine masculine and they don't even want getting their little randies all off because they done seen some shit on Instagram. Like nigga, why is you even following me or any of my friends? Why are you following my friends? Exactly. Why are you following my friends on fucking Instagram? You don't even like my friend. And we was together, you 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 said she was a bad influence. Or he was a bad influence. So why are you even following my friends, watching me, doing whatever the fuck I'm doing? Okay? Go somewhere. Everyone's gonna be like, love, do you? Where's your sense of humor? You should have just laughed and motherfucking put a laughing emoji. Encourage your ass the fuck on. You did not have to call me. Hold on, you were so misguided. You were so misguided. I don't know who turned that light on for you and told you to bring your ass over here. Please go somewhere. That's it. All right. If this video resonated, Aries, why y'all asshole? Why y'all asshole? Oh my god, I can't even. I just like, I just want I, like from. I feel someone like really right now from the. They are laughing so hard right now at this shit. 
their stomach is hurting. They are laughing so fucking hard. And I feel it. Like, and I'm not laughing. It's y'all. Like, my stomach hurts from someone laughing. Like, I need y'all to stop. Like, for real. Y'all are evil. And y'all like, like, I didn't mean to do it. Why? Who said that? Get the fuck out of my head. I'm gone. Bye. I can't deal with y'all. Listen. Y'all follow instructions at the beginning of the video. Because somebody the fuck in my head. I gotta go. Bye.